we should be ready to go. I think Smash is the last player actually for 3-Bit. If you guys don't really remember 3-Bit, let me tell you a few things. 3-Bit, uh, back in Battlefield 3, there were a few teams that were really, really strong. Uh, there was Web Spell from France that are playing here, at least some of their players. There were Eyeballers that played until the start of BF4. There's the old Dignitas team, or the Six Fins previously. So, you had another team, which is pretty darn good. These guys were 3-bit that later on turned into Meet Your Makers that went on to win the first Battle for ESL1. So, there is a lot here to show. Again, we have a, two legend teams, Web Spell and the boys from 3-bit. So, it's going to be pretty nice to see if they actually can both make it to the finals. Because we have the challengers, especially Lemon, doing pretty nicely in their first matchup. And of course, in our second, uh, in our first game that actually broadcasted with Phil, Phil's bad man, Sayo, one of the players that later played for 3-bit, uh, well, actually meet your makers in Battle for 4. So there's a lot here on the line to actually show. Oh, and Rella's on here. Do you think you and Diffcom are sexy? Add us an Xcam. Xcam.com forward slash Diffcom. Is that how it works? Drop him! Drop him. It's a pretty sexy map, I have to say. Uh, this is, again, a best of three. So the two matches that are remaining here will all will both be best of threes. And the the maps that we have are Tehran, Sand Crossing, and Grand Bazaar in this best of three series. Again, you play two rounds on each map. 174 tickets for... Oh my god, no. You play two rounds on each map. It's going to be pretty cool. All you have to do is have your Battlefield 3. If you want to play it, actually, you can go in FinesseUnleashed.net, download the mod, and all you need to do is to basically run Battlefield 3 once, make sure that it's installed, obviously, and then just, just get in there and play. That's pretty much it. You can see the rotating logos actually below here on the game. We actually can add logos into the game itself, so that's pretty cool. So here we go, let's get this show on the road with actually the servers that are provided as well by Host Unlimited, MHSV, and the developers here. Because if you guys did not know, you can host Battlefield 3 servers on your own machines for Venice Unleashed. So that, that makes me very, very happy for the future, but you do require a pretty tough PC to run things like that. Um, it's pretty understandable. Uh, Ko Mu here is Mr. Smashu, who, if you know, is the best esport player uh, after really winning with Team Penta, winning uh, winning his breakfast, actually. Now holding off right by the truck. Is there anybody around him here? Yes, they are on the stairs here. This stairs position is so strong to actually pull players away, but they're unable to get any information about of his whereabouts. Grenade's going to land right down. Trying to make sure that there's a player down there, but not really getting any information out of that. Strix now jumping down, just holding off the bridge, basically. This is a power position. There are about three power positions in this map. Now, one of them is this bridge you have here. You have a right over here, actually watching the bridge and down on the middle flag. And then you have the actual gas station and what's around it here. Really help him out. Yes, you need to link your uh, uh, the Venice Unleashed account to Origin account, so you have to do that as well. So right now you can see the kill feed above, which is pretty cool. And Strix you know, getting that first frag and taking down Smashon, who is, uh, you know, so far really doing terribly. Zero to one, safe, the only one with a frag on his team. And that A site is still not in anybody's control, taking here a bit of damage. Safe has to back off. On the other side, it's crooked with a 320 smoke. Because you can't use 320 HEs. 320 smokes are extremely important uh, if you want to play tactically, especially on Tehran. Because then you can get a lot of information, uh, you know, denial on your enemies. Salki on 0-2 and all three flags are in control. 
No Vlemon here. It seems like three, but are just offhand completely today. Only safe with two kills of his own. Going here for the revive is Salgi. Salgi is obviously the guy that you always yell at to go rush B, but he goes always to A for some reason. After my personal experience, now moving up on the stairs, someone else. Yeah, look at the shot on a safe, and here's the second one. As they will get them down. Nicely done here. Salgi now falls. And still, safe the only one with a kill in this team. Does Melish have a date now? I actually should have a date tomorrow. Hello, Ricky. Hello, everybody. Hope we're enjoying this. I know we had a bit of an issue on our first game, but... No problem, it's only one, and this the entire point of this is to test out when it's unleashed and get a lot of uh, feedback from players that know how to play this game, uh, compared to myself, at least. Three flags, totally in control of Team Lemon, and this is a bit of a problem, as uh, a safe punch through the Salgi and Smash are having a bit of trouble, but you see, Smashon is going all the way across the map, Try and get onto the enemy flags here. At least trying to pull somebody back. Because right now, this is not really working out too well for the three bit side. Oh, well, Panchrula. I actually got to meet Panchrula. Oh, a nice headshot here. Uh, but I actually got to meet Panchrula at ESL1 Spring. 2015 which is pretty cool because I'm actually a bit of a fanboy, especially back in his BF3 days. Uh, Smashun doing damage. As he's actually uh, trying to control the back flags. As now it's on to Safe, who is top fragging for his team. 7 to zero, 0 though for Somnians. And that is pretty darn impressive from playing versus 3 bit. Developers in chat, yes, they are. Uh, devs are in chat here, can help out. If you have any uh, problems, any stuff that you would like to talk about, Charlie's site is being controlled. Salgi finally with a kill. Punchrula with one of his own. And Kilst. Kilsit. I have no idea who it is actually. Uh, I'm 0 to 5 here. A bit of spectator bug. Still happens about 4 as well, which is a bit odd. Moving back on the side itself. Strix holding from the gas station, not finding anybody by the bridge, and just gonna be jumping down. 8 to 3 scoreline for Fukushima. As Satan's gonna get shot down. Pretty cool thing for. Nope. Server host. There are a few server hosters actually in the stream, which is pretty awesome as well, because without them, we wouldn't have any servers to play on, which is a bit of a problem because we don't have any sponsors for this. At least server sponsors like Nitrado and companies like that. So, hey, if you know anybody on there that would like to host future servers, get them towards us, man. We want to host with good servers. And you know, honestly, not easy to run these things here. Safe going in for the hip fire, taking out one. Teammates respawning on him. Actually, smash you here on 5 to 3. Safe on 3 to 5, holding right by kitchen or uh, rush site here, A site. Which is what it is in a Rush, actually. 79 to 161 tickets. Pretty hard, actually. 75 to 159. So, alright. Two players now holding off in the back. Smoke's gonna be really important to get on the side itself. And they should be spotted, at least heard. You can see the one player from the US side really able to pie over right behind the uh, the car. Patrula taking down one. That'll be the cleanup on the second. Back in the day, man, um, I actually started watching Battlefield 3 in terms of these competitive games at really the end of Battlefield 3. So to really get to, to see a lot of the, uh, the players that were at the start, a lot of teams changed up at the end getting ready for Battlefield 4, you know, best game, best competitive game ever in six months, hashtag called it, Kappa. Um, Smash is going to get shut down as well, and really, Lemon are complete control again. 
They do have ticket bleed, which is a bit of a problem. Remember, this is a best of three. So it's not over just yet, but hey, there's a lot of work to do here. I'm trying to get on the sites. Is, is he safe? It is checking up behind you. Always need to clean them, uh, clean the players around the site itself uh, by the response before you actually get onto it and go for the cap. Well, safe now in a pretty good position to actually ward off anybody that peeks through. Uh, and there he goes. Spots out at one. And we'll spray him down and take him out. Uh, Strix now moving around, rotating from the back, trying to keep minimal amount of information uh, away from his enemies. As you see, it's Punchrula jumping down, trying to take as minimal amount of damage as possible. Now moving up by the stairs. Oh, he actually catches one off guard, gets the kill. Very, very nice accuracy from him. This player is one of the most accurate players, uh, except for maybe Shika. Uh, back in battle for three. The Fukushima shot down. Safe. They will take down only one. And Crooked shot down as well. Pretty good. Uh, actually, Satan shot down as well as a crooked and 10 to 5 for smasher he really is putting the team on his back here but there's so much work to be done just with a revive mechanic in battlefield 3 it really does not work too well imagine if we had 250 tickets that would have been impossible to finish the game go trying to jump around grenade being landed in and it is Bunchula peeking on the set itself. Look at that. So much damage done, but still no kill. Misses with the 412 Rex. And leaves them and just completely wiped up uh, on that middle flag. But Salgi in the meantime, rotating to the other side of the map as one of his teammates trying to get onto the uh, actual gas station. There's one trying to peek onto him. And I hope this actually gets introduced into the game where you can click and actually get onto it. Or that's Satan to take down Salgi. Oh, a lot of damage done, but... He's not getting anything. He goes in for the revive, goes in for the long range kills, and he's not hitting anything. Finally falling. That is that that was pretty terrible. Uh, Fukushima though from behind. Power positions again. That's damage being done with the M16 from the bridge, but Fukushima needs to move back. Strix on 18 to 4. Are you kidding me? This man literally is on fire. Let's see. Three now. Three Russian players on that Charlie site. All that's required right now is to get on that middle site. There's no way around it. Or basically, he's just doing this to delay any counterplay. And is there anybody alive still? Well, there is. It's, it's Smashu that wants to take him down. But you know what? Even Smashu can save the day here. And he will get shot down. 18-4 to for Strix. Beautiful play. But everybody except for Smashu in the red for three bit this is a bit of an upset but boy do i love it that was round number one in tehran so we're gonna wait around until the entire screen goes away and then we can hop into our second round so soon actually you will be able to use the mod tools to create your own your own maps which will be pretty awesome There we go, Victor Wero actually created this. It's pretty awesome. 174 viewers. Holy crap. That's as many tickets that we have in the game. That's pretty awesome. So it's still not done. We still have another half to go and two other maps if we actually have to go for them. So there's a lot more content. And after this, there's another best of three, the final in this one. So. Will there be an American VU tournament? Um, actually, our first plan, so basically, we planned it out to have a EU versus NA thing, just like uh, what we have with the, or what we had previously with the BPL, the Battlefield, uh, Battlefield Pro League, was it? Battlefield something? No. Um, back in, well, Battlefield 4 about a year ago, but... We didn't actually have sponsors or server sponsors to host servers in the U.S. and the Americas in general. So, 
next tournament, if we have bugs ironed out, and I want to say, like, significant bugs before we host a big tournament, I would like to have a full one day or two day tournament where we would have EU versus, uh, versus Americas. And there, we could have as many players as possible, but we need server sponsors as well as bug faces in the game. So if you're playing, or if you think that there's a few things that are wrong, Go on the go on the forums. Go let the devs know that you you know we'd like to see these things fixed and how you actually got them in game so they can get around to fixing them. So maybe we can get some sponsors to host a big tournament online at least maybe with some prize money as well. That would be cool for sure. Um, that's up. A bit of fire being lopped down and here's the final kill coming up from Puncherula. Let's see, kill set. Holding off on the set itself. Apparently former former Dignitas uh, player. A lot of these players actually play for pretty big organizations like Feature Makers uh, or what 3-Bit really turned into. Killsit getting the kill actually. There's a second one. He's trying to go for the spray. 44 Magnum pulled out, but the revives are too strong. 1-2 shot down, but there is fire from behind and fire in the sky, but they all get revived and kills all around. He's still on the ground, finally dies and three kills on each side. But with the revive mechanic in Battlefield 3, it doesn't matter if you get one or two kills. You need to wipe everybody. And that's what, personally, I would like to be changed to what it is in Battlefield 4 with the revive system. So right now, we actually had some issues when it comes to the UI. Uh, that's why you don't really see, you know, when someone gets a kill or stuff like that. You only see it above on your top right side sometimes. So maybe we'll get a few things like that fixed. Uh, but since a lot of the UI updates have been literally done today, it's um, something we kind of have to live with. Again, a big thing. So where's, where, I think it's WRIWR -R or something like that who actually created the uh, UI for Battlefield 3, which is pretty awesome because this looks pretty good here in Venice Unleashed. 5-0 again for Somnius. This is pretty good, especially with Revive Mechanic. It means that you can stay alive as long as possible. You do the max amount of damages. Really, from what I can tell, 3-Bit have been pushing solo. And with them really pushing solo, it means if one player dies, that ticket is long gone. You're not going to see that ticket ever again. Nice nade coming in. And he actually gets himself killed. Well done. I actually have a player on the site. So you cannot use the Vodnik because this is 5v5 infantry. And there's an American player here. A grenade being lobbed onto the site. Onto the flag itself here by the garage. And not really doing any damage. Just, it's again Somnius doing uh, the killing. Fukushima now on his own with a 44 mag. Doesn't really care at this point. Just the amount of damage I've been doing. And Safe has uh, has finally realized what Battlefield 3 is all about. Never actually getting revives. Because Battlefield 3 has a lot of um, you know hit detection issues when it comes especially to uh, reviving. Which means if there's anything where on, on a body or near a body, you can't really uh, you can't really do anything. But this map is done and that was a pretty cool victory for Team Lemon. And hopefully, actually, what I would like to see is a thing where the tickets will drain on the first round. And then when you hop into round number two, you actually start off with the amount of tickets that were at the end. And then you just play with the VSR rules doing it. So, hey, guys, if you're on Twitter best thing you can do right now is to get on Twitter and check out ESL Battlefield. Their latest tweet is about the tournament. Just retweet it. Tell people that it's live. I don't care what you do. You just have to tell people that this is going live. And this is what we've all really been waiting for. To see some Battlefield 3 in a sort of competitive fashion. I know it's not the best thing. I know there's a lot of bugs still. 
but we will just have to really live with it. But now it's on to a favorite of mine, and I know a favorite of a lot of people like you. It's Sen Crossing. I don't know about you, but Sen Crossing gave us some of the best, um, some of the best gameplay in BF3 competitive back in the day, especially with the French Lance and um, the uh, the Copenhagen Games matches that were done. Can you post a link? Uh, I think the moderators can help you out if you need some stuff. I can't accept anybody on battle log. I have, I have like 200 people waiting. But let me actually post, let me actually show you guys something. Um, so, you know, this is Twitter, obviously. I want to show you something that is beautiful. You know how Venice Unleashed Spectator should look like? Like this. Wero actually has created this ages ago. But it still takes time to implement the game and make sure that it has no issues. So we need to hold more tournaments and more games. And if you guys want to play your own games and test them out, contact the devs at NoFate, at Ruru. Tell them that you want to try it out and you will get the chance for it. Which is pretty cool because it means that we can test, it out, can test this out and have as minimal issues as possible later on in the game. But we are live, so let's get this show on the road. Turn off the music even though it is pretty darn dank. First hill has come in from Fukushima. A refrag almost immediately from Killsit. And the kill sit. Actually, that's the only kill in this game so far. And he's pushing, I suppose, with Safe. It's right above. Actually, Safe just gets uh, shot down. Punchula launching by a main road. Nope, the crooked is going to get taken out. After a couple kills, and this is the thing. Battlefield 3, if you don't wipe the enemy squad, you are basically doing nothing. Killset falls as well as the US players here are trying to make their way onto the top side here, right by the stairs. This is a very difficult position to take. We saw previously players taking taking a hold just of this position right here. And we're going to see players coming back to it. You can hold off from here with just a bit of cover. Inside, you can basically break this and get in there with a grenade. You can, you know, just hide on here and use the staircase. You can actually get into this building right here and right here. And from there, watch down. So there is a lot of stuff to be done here. Crooked is going to fall, but then revived by his teammate. Actually moving out on the outside. So this is the thing about Sand Crossing. Since it's a four flag map, all you have to do is get three out of the four flags and have the ticket blade on your side. But this means that this map can draw out forever. Before it's actually over. Oh, great being lobbed in. And the respawns of Sin Crossing are not really the best. And I can tell you after my own personal experience. Sierra Fukushima is moving up. Uh, oh, Smash is going to fall. Same for safe. And all the teammates apparently. This is almost a wipe here. And, oh, finally, Smash you getting revived, getting the throw one kill. Actually, reviving his teammate is crooked and Fukushima getting two kills of their own. Fukushima on 5 to 1 here. Just making sure that nobody is really going to challenge them on this site. Bot safe. Yes, there we go. Hello, Drunksy. I, I sort of wish that Drunksy was actually playing in this with Benny and the old team that they had. Um, unfortunately, it is not the case. And the respawns are pretty crazy actually on Sen Crossing and they trade out kill but it doesn't matter. You can revive your teammates, it's no problem. Um, Smashan still over on the other side of the map. He's apparently running with a 412 Rex only. Finally climb up here, safe. Uh, unable to get the revive, they're gonna lose that ticket. But you can see 166 to 164, it's pretty close. And they actually cap each other's main flags, gimmies basically. Oh my god, we have... Oh my god. We have the legend, the Wahlberg is in here previously. Uh, player from Six Fins and Dignitas. So basically, there's no timer in here uh, in here right now. But there is a timer that it's implemented in Venice Unleashed. So you have a timer. But 
we kind of chose to only go with tickets so we can see later on in other tournaments how long would the timer have to be uh, since the players that I asked uh, which are all the ESL1 players at least that are still playing that kind of gave their own input on this but yes you can add a timer which is pretty cool so revives should be changed to battleful 4 um, style of revives which would be pretty good personally uh, folks shima 9 to 1 4 to 1 for samius and punch on 4 to 3 this is not something i'm really used to seeing out of them uh, usually it's punch really doing tons of damage but you know, safe here saving up his teammates they're gonna be respawning in b flag is slowly being taken and we should finally see one of the two teams actually having control. Go. That's coming in. Only taking out one. This is a pretty good spot to actually be hiding around here. Has no idea where the second is. So well done here. Bunchrula only taking out one. Grenades can really weaken this out. And look at the amount of players getting on the site. One Russian still in the back. As all the Americans are really reviving one another here. And this is so difficult. He jumps down right behind him. And it only takes down one. But the Rive should be coming in. And that is a cleanup. Uh, safe. That was the last one. The one remaining fighter. Shot down. No get sponsorship from MHSV. MHSV uh, sponsored Venice Unleashed by giving us a server to play on. So we can't really say no. Because guys, what we know... Uh, what we want is actual uh, server sponsors so we can host tournaments in EU and US. Yes, Senpai has noticed. And it seems like... Uh, Really, this is starting to get pretty difficult for the uh, the RU side of 3-bit now. Uh, on a map, on a map like Sin Crossing, I do believe the US side has a bit of an advantage. And just because of the way that their base is structured. Yes, it takes a bit more time to get to the other side because you have to cross the bridge. But it's a, it's a bit easier to, or quite a bit easier in my opinion, to spawn trap the Russian side. Um, especially in 5v5 infantry where... Basically, you swarm a site and you basically just gain control. So, 3-bit are kind of forced to play passive right now. But this is really giving the enemy team here at Lemon. Actually, you can hear a cat in the background. It's pretty cool. Spit on here. Can he spot the second? Yes, he can. But actually, does not get the kill. Needs to go for a very quick reload here. And oh, well, he's just getting a bit of fire done on him. That is Punchrula. No, that was uh, Somnians. Actually, Punchrula in the back. Smash you holding off. Right by blue building here. Not finding anybody in the middle. That just takes a bit of damage, actually. Punchrula now rotating in. He's now set in office. I'm gonna go CS. Making sure that nobody is spawning in on the highway connector. Now, Sarah Mortal in the chat is really having a lot of fun with that one. Um, but I remember the the only oh that's what happens. People spawn behind you because this is Battlefield Three, Send Crossing. So yeah, this is pretty pretty, pretty stupid. Now the only the only um, cups that were held like LAN events that are you know, relevant were basically Copenhagen Games and the French tournament in Paris where Drunksy is actually playing along with Benny and I actually saw that picture Benny sent me that picture and oh uh, guys all oh, look so so cute. Uh, kill sit holding off well not for long actually takes gets taken out and the second as well coming out of base spawn so that is a pretty big lead now 55 tickets up for lemon and they're taking control of that delta flag this is starting to get real difficult for him again personally i would like to see you know this 
actually moving when the flag is getting capped. That would be cool. I don't know if you can actually do that. That would be nice for any future UI updates. Uh, Fukushima still doing the damage, living up to the name. And it seems like 3 bit are really struggling in this one. The Legends might have found a Titan. He's really a bit too strong for him in this one. Another one shot down a web spell again as apparently losing their match as well versus versus the challengers. Are we actually gonna see no legends in the grand finals? That would be pretty cool to see. Uh, grenades being lobbed on in as the Russian side here trying to peek in. Uh, AKA Team 3 bit. It's really difficult to get on here and get charged at. <laughs> you see the scream from Punchrula. Uh, safe is on the site as he goes to reload, gets taken down. And will the second go out as well? Not just yet. Yeah, Salagi gets one kill on a Fukushima, but you can see the revive actually. AK sprang down. Grenade comes down. Right on the staircase, and apparently they just moved down. This is a very difficult position to really play against. And I know this exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get shot down. Fukushima on 16 to 6. Is Fukushima actually Zika or what? Because this guy is really doing damage. Spots a second one as well. No revive actually going out there. As respawn comes in the back, right by the container. That's that. It's Salgi. Barely have him there with all of his teammates actually respawning onto him. And they spot him there. Can they actually spray him down? Yes, they can. And they get the revive up. So now Salgi is up and alive, but crooked. Is still watching that same spot. Oh, one jumps right onto him. He takes one down, pulls out the 44. And that will be all she wrote, at least for this could push. Yes, um, um, Outliner would be very, very nice. X-ray mode for BF3 would be really, really cool to see. That would actually be a perfect, perfect. Just take everything in uh, CSUI and putting put it in BF3. 19 to 8, Fukushima falling down again. But it seems like the scoreline is going down bit by bit towards the 3 bit side. Or bit by bit by bit, because they're 3 bit. And actually gets the double spray down. Who was that? That was obviously Punchrula, the legend of Battlefield 3. Not Battle 4 as well. I see kill set in here. Kind of get spawned in and actually get taken down. Uh, where is Hassan Mur, aka Smoshan? He is gonna fall right in the middle, but respawns coming in, and again, with uh, this being sent, crossing respawns are so erratic. Uh, really, we'll just get uh, shot down at the end of it. Here's the second one going down as well. And this round is starting to get pretty darn difficult to play. There's a bunch of force support here after getting a nice double kill, but it's not really enough as a reviver is gonna come in and keeping those tickets alive. Well, that you really require. Actually, what I would like to see is um, CS go Heights, mate. Trust me, CS has still a lot of uh, things to do to make itself really, really, really good with all the potential that it holds. Trust me, uh, still a lot to be done, obviously, in a lot of games, including games like uh, CS and League of Legends, even. Yes, we need to use Sniper. I've got a mod Drunk Seed just so Rella doesn't time him out. Actually, he's not a mod on here. He's tricks with one, refragging after the safe here. Oh, jumping down, he's gonna fall apart. It's uh, Smash on as well. Up top is. Oh, how did he miss those shots? Finally taking him down. Grenade making sure that. Actually, damage his teammate as well. Rip. Man, sometimes I kind of wish I was in the early days of Battlefield 3. Um, or just casting back when BF3 5 was a thing for a lot of people. Because I didn't live through that. I only really introduced myself at the end of BF3. And 
BF4 later on, even middle of BF4, so kind of killed myself on there. Oh, nice position here to be held up and actually only able to take down one again. Really, damage damage is so, so low when it comes to 3-bit. They take down one and then that's about it. They're only one player that's able to play in a certain position. They have like two, three players against them. You get one kill, but then revives come in and that's how you see Lemon with 129 tickets. This is not good at all. There we go. We've got a second frag here, making sure that the houses here are completely clean. Is Punchula holding off by the statue? Now let's actually look at the statue. This guy naked. No, he's not. I'm actually surprised. Like, I don't think France has something like this. I've been to Paris, and this is not. This is not normal. There ain't none of this. What is this dice? I thought that was a realistic game. Hashtag dice space fix. Everybody loves drama. Now peeking in. There we go. There are two players. Grenade actually landing right in between them. There's one spawns in the back. And he actually gets a single kill here. Uh, Punchula in the back of Fukushima. I don't know how he's allowed to get these many kills. He's at 27 to 11. Uh, how? 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 How are 3 bit trying to play against this guy? Because they basically just run out in front of him. And he just destroys them. You can hear the kitten in the back. At least the cool, the, one of the coolest thing about uh, Venice Unleashed, other than that there is no blue tint, is that there's no suppression. That's pretty darn good. There you go, another kill here. Oh, finally going down, that's... Oh, it's just gonna revive, get revived immediately. Punchula on 26 to 13, 21 to 18 for Smashu. He's gonna have to do a lot more than that. I'm actually surprised that Safe is not the last one in here, but that will be it for our first round in the second map. It's a Swedish statue. Yeah, man, I, I remember back in 8v8 days. Um, AVA days for Battlefield 3, I think the, the best things for me, just watching, was I think the f I, rem I strictly remember the final uh, of the final Nations Cup that they held, where Denmark and Sweden played. And I remember Caspian Border, where Nix DK got pushed off of the center hill, which is pretty darn cool to see. I like how Wahlberg and Pyo are really having fun, you know, imagining all the old stuff again. But the challengers are really, really playing well, I have to say. I did not expect the challengers to do this well um, against the legends, especially legends like 3-bit. It's not like, oh, it's a random team. It, it literally is. It's it, it's three bit is one of the best teams in the entire game back then, not as good as eyeballers or six fins, but three bit was pretty darn good. You had it on medium, guys. There is oh, that was the semi final. All right, thank you all. But um, I was gonna say, see how beautiful this is. Even on lowest settings, the game looks pretty darn good with no blue tint. As you see, the second round is starting off. So this is so important, actually, uh, for 3-bit. Because they have to win the second half if they want to make it a map 3. So yeah, actually, since we have so many viewers in the chat, you guys actually have um, your... Your quality options, so you can change the quality if you're having, you know, a bit of lag and issues like that. So that's pretty cool. And not just that, but this is a partner channel, 
So, yeah, I forgot because I haven't streamed on this uh, channel for so long. You can actually subscribe on here for $6.99. You have access to sub mode on all ESL channels. So, League of Legends, Counter Strike, and anything in between, really. And uh, it's, it's pretty darn cool, actually. It supports the stream and supports esports. I love it. Other than that, it means that you can actually change the quality whenever you want. So, that's pretty cool for you guys as well. Punch about getting one kill, and it seems like Lemon are in control again at the start of this matchup here. There's just over 100 ticket lead in total, about, uh, about 100, 120 tickets or so. A, a nice pickup here. Strix now picking up Punch with three kills in a row, but it really is not enough. It's again Fukushima 4-0. That's a mix of three bit. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, it is a mix of three bit. But I remember, personally, I was a really, really big fan of watching eyeballers. Now. You know, especially with Grossval. Uh, really nice to watch eyeballers. But I think six fins, especially with the legendary Wahlberg, was pretty nice to watch as well. Um, not just because Wahlberg was here, but because Wahlberg gave the infamous interview at the Copenhagen Games. In 2012, I think. And, oh, it's pretty weird. Yep, it's 6.99. It's it's a bit more because you get subscriber mode on all ESL channels. So that's the thing about it. Um, we've got Safe who just died, which is pretty normal. I'm surprised that Safe's not trying to blow things up in the game. One's gonna die, but goes in for a quick revive, and seems like the. The American team is just getting completely wiped on here. I'd love to be able to press the M key to actually see the entire map, but that's not possible. No, nope, it's Yanks and Grossball. There we go. Now, finally getting some kills, but that is not going to help out at all. It's a trade out completely. And they actually are getting revived. Second one revived as well, but all shot down on the stairs. That's crooked to really really check these guys out that is a bit difficult here if you're three bit and no three bit have not played bf3 for a long long time and probably lemon have been trying but like, seriously they are getting just completely bashed here um, three bit obviously And there we go, that's CG. It went below 126 tickets, and that'll be it. There we go. We already have Punch Rula disconnecting. Thank God the blue tint is gone. Yes. So, that is it for this matchup. But you know what, guys? We still have another one. We have our final game for today, which is going to be another best of three. Um, actually, between Lemon and the winners of Web Spell versus Feels Batman. So, right now. The, the players, the challengers, are actually doing a lot more than what we would have expected. So that's pretty darn good for all of us.